Hello everyone, I hope everyone is doing well. Today I came up with another video on Infosys SP and DSC role. Complete interview questions, tips and subject to be prepared for the technical interview. And this is Infosys Hack with Infini. Right? Let us going into the video. Before that, if you are new to the channel, please do subscribe, share and like my videos. If you already a subscriber, please hit a like so that it motivates me to do more and more videos for you. Right? Let us going into the video. Technical interview questions. I have already done an interview on complete pattern about round one details and the mail after the round one and then eligibility for the technical round and what happens after the technical interview. Everything in detail I have done in video and I will put that in the comment section. I will give that link in comment section. No need to worry. Right, let us see the technical interview questions which are faced by several students. I have collected information from many more students and I have did this long video. Right, and let us see the technical questions faced by the students. First of all, you have to introduce yourself. Right, first they will ask you to introduce yourself, self intro. Right, then resume based questions. If your projects are related to the databases, then you may face questions on SQL, DBMS in that way. Based on your resume only, they will ask the questions first of all. Right, because they know nothing about you, your resume is the proof for them. Okay, so make sure your resume is simple, clear and it is true. Right. And based on the projects only, they will ask you the questions. What is your role in the project? What technologies have you used? And rate yourself in Python, Java, C++, DBMS on the scale of 10. Okay. These are the questions faced by several students, not a single student. Different students gave their feedback. So based on that, I have made this video. Right. Okay, try to prepare every question so that what questions you might face we don't know, right? Okay, and going back to the uh, questions, what is the difference between drop and delete? This is a question related to the SQL queries, DBMS, okay? Database management system and the command to display first row of table consists of thousand records and define normalization and its type and why do you choose CSE or data science or CSM see if you are re related to a particular ban branch like a computer uh, system or data science or uh, machine learning then they might ask you why do you choose that branch as your engineering course right that way also you can uh, face the questions if you want have a screenshot i hope you got with these questions let us move into the other slide there are so many questions to be no and where do you see yourself after five years this is a hr based question in technical interview only they might have asked you and do you have a plan of uh, future uh, further studies and uh, may I ask questions on your hobbies okay if your hobbies is about reading books they might have asked you what books have you gone through until now and what have you inspired by them and if your hobby is to play tennis how do you play that how how enjoyable we is that okay movies means what inspired which movies uh, by which movies you got inspired in that way they might have asked you about your hobbies and what is your opinion on artificial intelligence few students ha have faced about this question artificial intelligence because it is most trending uh, technology in nowadays right so they are asking you to speak out a few words on artificial intelligence and fibonacci series without using a temporary variable and array list related problem and write a program on factorial by recursion and basic concepts like html css okay and you should have a good idea on basic concepts like html css javascript and uh, basic programming languages oes dbms right okay if you want have a screenshot let us uh, jump to the next slide right okay write a program to check whether a string is a palindrome or not explain oops concepts dbms os and its types and if you are project on front end then you can get front end related questions if you if it is related to back end related 
then back and related subject questions okay and what technologies have you used in project in that way they will ask okay if your resume have computer networks eh, that means if you uh, mentioned that in your resume they might have asked you about ip related questions what is network protocol differentiate between tcp and udp right and the osa layers okay and they explain each individual layer what are they working okay what is the process undergone through the uh, layers in that way how will you handle multiple users at a time what if there is an issue with the server this is the situational question okay you can also face this type of situational question see how will you handle multiple users at a time and what if there is an issue with the server right and what is deadlock this is os related uh, question operating system related question right if you want have a screenshot let us jump to the next slide and there may be chances of uh, giving coding question to solve before the interviews okay i am going to talk about this see few students have told me that there might be chances of getting uh, an exam coding exam before the interview or during the interview the interviewer might have asked you to code on a particular coding question okay but in technical interview maximum of the students are facing a coding questions during the interview or before the interview the one who are lucky or the one the interviewer who are uh, with the ease condition they might not have asked you about the coding questions and they may go through your uh, core subjects right and write a program to print am strong numbers between 0 to 999 exception handling program and oops sql dbms html css uh, basic questions and what are your projects finally a project what is your role what have you learned where have you done your internship what have you learned from your internship basic questions on projects and internships and few students faced coding questions like string matching fibonacci series and explain binary search okay have a screenshot if you want let us jump into the end of the slide describe cpu scheduling algorithms like primitive and non primitive scheduling algorithms okay this is related to operating system question okay and dsa related questions like uh, breadth first search and depth first search okay you should have minimum idea on that okay and why do you want to join infosys this is the hr related question in technical round only they might have asked you and asked to code on string comparison okay i have already told you during the interview or before the interview you might have faced some coding questions few students might not face it few students might face it okay be prepared for everything and write code to print multiples of two or five if you are from eco or triple e background you face this type of question what is your motivation in joining the it industry okay if you are from ec and triple e uh, background and you are going you are you want to join in infosys what motivated you they might have asked you that also okay because few students are from triple e and ec background and they face this type of question that is why i have mentioned over here because it might help you right okay if you want have a screenshot let us jump into the slide suppose you are a team leader and you are assigned a task how will you proceed okay it is a situational uh, question again you have to use your uh, skills in order to answer it well and show an example where you have shown your leadership skills okay in your life or might be in your project okay you can answer it accordingly and if you are facing any problem how will you tackle it okay these are situational based questions and you have to answer them very carefully dbms operating system and uh, software uh, development life cycle okay this is software development life cycle it is a very interesting thing to be learned if you don't know please uh, look into it software development life cycle they might have asked you questions on this also because every company or every a startup company or something in order to work they should follow the software development life cycle only that is why they will ask you because you should know how to communicate with the customers how to solve the problem how to plan accordingly you should know so 
for that you have to have a complete idea on software development cycle if you know if you don't know please go through it and you are given a string find its non repeating character that means e first non repeating character you should uh, travel through entire string and you should find the non repeating uh, character and in that first character you should print okay this is the coding question you have to write the logic in middle of the interview so you should you should be very cool smart enough and practice well for these type of questions and differentiate between the lit and truncate again this question related to uh, dbms okay database management system this question is related to that if you want have a screenshot let us jump into the and the slide explain joins it is also related to database management system joins left join right join in that way any networking protocols that you know like tcp transfer uh, transfer control protocol or udp okay uh, http in that way they you can answer few of the protocols and they working okay and the client server architecture is a very important question okay very important question prepare well will there be any issue in switching to the technologies that you don't know about for an project that we snc coming to the uh, it industries they might get a various several projects and each project is based on a different technologies so you should be adaptable to that uh, project so that is why they will ask these type of questions it is also a hr question are you okay are you comfortable to switch the technologies are you ready to know are you ready to uh, learn the new technology that is what the fresher will do right that is why they hire the freshers so you have to answer very carefully for these type of questions and any plans for higher studies again it has repeated maximum students face this type of question i think so if your resume has c++ and prepare about the pointers and types of parameters in c++ define array linked list stack tree and method overloading difference between private and public um, variables or something right if you want have a screenshot let us jump into the end the slide and if you are from non it they ask why are you coming into the software field i have already told you no several students are facing this type of question because if they are from e and ec or civil or if they are non it person they might have asked you why are you choosing software over non it field and round robin algorithm this is also related to operating system question and differences between some routing algorithms and difference between stack and queue uh, first in first in first out and last in first out in that way basic differences you should tell and what is tcp and ip model see i have already told you if you are good with computer networks if your resume has that skill then you should able to answer these type of questions these are basic questions right what is ip address and its types what a, what write a program to check whether the even element sum or odd element sum is greater and print the greater one i hope you got with this question there are certain elements and you should add up even numbers and odd numbers and you should check even number sum is greater or odd number sum is greater and the greater one you have to print it that is the question technical interview question and acid properties in dbms have a screenshot before going into the end of the slide right and what is order by group by okay this is uh, comes under dbms okay database management system and write a sql query to get maximum and second maximum salary from a table they will give a table of uh, data a uh, data uh, and you should be able to write a query in order to uh, abstract the maximum and second maximum salary comments of ddl and D dml and what are kernels in operating system name some of the internet protocols and difference between two tier and three tier architecture it is also good question several students faced this questions and do you know what is hashing yes it is very good technique in order to finish a coding problem in less uh, uh, time okay time complexity 
hashing is a good method so they might have asked you about hashing learn about hashing linked list even have a basic knowledge on them what is difference between http and https hypertext transfer protocol hypertext transfer protocol it is secure okay why is it secure over http also they might have asked you write down the question i forgot to mention here http means hypertext transfer protocol hypertext transfer protocol this is secure right s means secure why is it more secure than http they might have asked you this type of question also what are testing and what what are the type of testings okay have a screenshot let us move on to the end of the slide if you are internship on web technologies they might have asked you what is web how does it work components of web technology write down the code for bubble sort any questions for me last at last every student is facing this type of question any questions for the interviewer then don't say no then at least ask about what is the work culture with the infosys okay ask about work culture okay uh, do we have growth in infosys do we have a good project opportunities in that we ask something but don't say no okay these are the interview questions there are many more if you want more questions please put it in comment section now let us see the tips okay to be followed in the technical interview prepare your resume accordingly because questions will be asked directly from whatever you had mentioned in your resume i have already told you based on your resume skills only they are asking you the questions mainly projects achievements and technologies you have used hobbies also and your core subjects are equally important like os dbms oops computer networks prepare them well don't fumble around and be honest don't mug up some answers and tell just be frequent just be clear enough and just be genuine okay this is the point where you have to explain 22 20 years of your life in 2 to 3 minutes so that is why have your self introduction very clear honest very particular and be clear enough straight forward okay make it crisp don't make it too long okay because they have to listen to you right so make it simple right have your self introduction very formally and make sure you add up all your achievements projects everything right that is the with the tips and make sure to prepare well about the project just be interactive have a good knowledge on data structure and different sorting algorithms time complexities comparisons go through your, your resume thoroughly the most important thing is your confidence because nobody can uh, know about you so whatever you tell with the interviewer that is uh, what tells about you so be confident you can make it okay all the best and subjects to be prepared data structures basic idea you should have linked list stack queue heap graph tree and sorting software engineering means i have already so told you sdlc software development life cycle it is very much important in every industry because in order to handle the customer and to build a thing you have to know the life cycle and testing also you should know software engineering and database normalization asset properties sql queries network means basics like protocol osi models what happens in each layer okay in that way operating system and cpu scheduling memory management basics of organization right i hope you got clear idea if you feel this video is worthy enough please hit a like subscribe to my channel if you perform well in your technical round that is what it is a mixture of technical and hr round if you do well in that interview you will get a mail with the date of join within few days or within few months you will receive be patient everything will do well right all the best for your interviews and if you feel this video is very informative worthy enough share like and subscribe to mindbender thank you so much for your support thank you